Hi, this is Steve from Purple Running Wales. I'm in the centre of Newport and I'm just about to start running the Newport Half Marathon route. So I'm just uh, just going to uh, meet up with a few friends from Killian Running Club and we'll be on our way. So this is the start. In the centre of town. We head out down towards. We head out down towards the uh, transporter bridge. I'm not recording the whole run, just parts of it, all right? I got a friend who's doing it, not run it before. So uh, I thought I'd uh, video the main sections of it. She said, there aren't any hills on it, are there? <laughs> no, 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 it's flat as a pancake. The main section is So as you can see, we're running through the classy end of town. <laughs> Don't feel too loud. <laughs> so here we go. We'll see you at the transporter bridge. So here we are at uh, Newport Docks. And there's the transporter bridge. Obviously, on the race, you're not going to have to cross this road because we're going to turn left and we're going to run along the road out towards Usquay. But for today's purposes, yeah, we got to uh, be safe and cross the road. Dream team here, isn't it? Yeah. Remember those days? Reunited. Reunited? That was good fun, wasn't it? There's the footbridge down by the river. There's the university building. And this is the uh, the park run, park run route. Ah, more runners out. Morning, ladies. All right. That's the Riverfront Theatre and there's the bridge that we're going to have to cross starting the uh, section of the run that takes us towards Killian and this red structure here is the wave and this is the start of the park run more runners coming through I'm oh, taking a different route, we'll miss them we're bound to see loads of runners out today. Yeah. And just up here at the top of the bridge, you'll see what remains of the old Newport Castle. We'll stop at the top here and wait for the others. Oh man. Morning guys, all right? Yeah, 
Yeah, everybody's out training. Come on, you're on camera. <laughs> well done, guys. And that's the river us and the mud flats. Looks quite nice when the tide is up and you can't see the mud. Uh, you're coming. You're coming. <laughs> okay, so this is the undulation. It's nothing much. It's hardly a big hill. Fortunately, we'll be on, on the road. So we won't have to negotiate these cars. But we just get to the top of the road up here. And then we turn left onto Bank Street. So, straight ahead. Is the M4 motorway. This is a junction there, junction 25. So uh, what we do is we turn down here and then we turn right and it takes us down to some playing fields. <laughs> we go underneath the car coming, better get off the road before I get knocked over. <coughs> before we turn right and we go underneath the motorway. So just waiting for the others now. So here we go underneath the motorway. It's all dark and spooky. Ooh. <laughs> I think there's a funny little alleyway we have to go up, isn't there? It was muddy the last time I did this yeah, this course. Yeah. May have a um, half Maybe. Yeah, so here's a little alleyway. Now when I did this route a couple of years ago, it was really muddy just here. So we go up here. Now you imagine all the runners coming through. It gets a bit tight. Especially this narrow bit. Where it's going to have to be two abreast at the most. Just power up here. So you get a better idea of it there. And there we go. Two weeks today. And we come up back onto the main road, on the Kalian road. So there's the, uh, the other side of the motorway junction. And then we run along here. Well, just looking to see what we've done mileage wise. 4.65 miles. That's all. Just to... <laughs> Okay, let's go. So now we've got a downhill section. Taking this down towards the St. Julian's pub. So you'll be able to uh, get your breath back and relax a little along this section here. I'm just gonna drop back behind Michelle and point my camera over there. You probably won't see it too much, but the, the river's down there. And the golf course and, and uh, the village of Kalian. So we're entering Kalian. Now we've just got to cross the road here. Check, nothing coming, that's right. Got the ship in. And then. over the bridge. And there's the River Usk again. 
with the Hanbury Arms on the other side. And then disaster struck. Uh, there I was waiting for the girls to arrive at the bridge and uh, went to start up the GoPro again and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. It um, didn't want to know. I can only assume that um, the cold weather had affected the battery and, um, and it had drained the battery. Because I hadn't done that much filming really, it shouldn't have, uh, have drained, drained the battery. Um, the, the previous week uh, I'd run in the uh, Hoka uh, Trail Half Marathon and I took my camera with me and, and the, the film is here on my channel. Um, and but uh, I'd put the camera in the pocket of my running belt so it was keeping warm and it managed to last for, for the whole race which is no problem. This time I did things differently. Uh, I decided to um, keep my camera on its handle setup. So let, let, let me show you the setup here. This is my GoPro Hero 7 okay and it's on a, it's on a handle here uh, and with an external microphone. Just a very simple setup uh, um, and that's all I wanted, and it seems to be pretty effective. Um, so I was running along, uh, carrying carrying this as I go, and it, it's not a problem. It's it's not too heavy, and uh, I haven't had a problem running with it, particularly on a training run. Um, I wouldn't carry this, I don't think, like this on a, on a race. I would put the take the camera out of the the case and and put it in my pocket, which is what I did on on the Hoka. Um, but in this case, I decided to keep it in in the in the handle on the handle, and because it was exposed to the the, the colder air, uh, I think that's just drained the battery. Now, to, when I left the house this morning, the the car was registering four degrees Celsius. So to me, that's not particularly cold, uh, but it must have just been cold enough for for the battery to die. So. Um, I think in future I'm just going to have to uh, take it out of the the um, the case and carry it loosely in my in my uh, running belt pocket. Um, so anyway, so that was it. We 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 finished the route. Uh, we ended up going through. Um, once we crossed over the bridge, we ended up going up the what's called the Foss, uh, which is a, um, a Roman path up to the, the old Roman amphitheatre, uh, along the cycle path then, which takes us uh, out and back to, um, back to Newport. Um, once back into Newport, we went along that, uh, the path that you saw before um, heading uh, back towards the Wave and the Riverfront Theatre, and then over that footbridge. So we cross over the footbridge, uh, and then along the other side, all the way out to the Southern Distributor Road and the bridge there, over the bridge, and then back down, uh, down the, the uh, footpath on the, the riverfront, um, and all the way back down to the university uh, for 13.1 miles. Uh, and it was, uh, it was good, it was a good run. You know, Michelle and I were, were, were running, running together, and we just... Um, uh, stopped and, and started again. We waited for the other girls to, to turn up uh, to, to, to catch up with us and um, yeah it was a very enjoyable run. So anyway I know what to do next time. It's all a learning curve for me this, this uh, running video uh, making so uh, I know now uh, to um, to put the, the camera in my pocket. Uh, it might also be a good idea for me to buy a, um, a spare battery just in case. So uh, anyway, uh, I will see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and share my video and um, take care and enjoy the running.